A big event for Resident Evil Village is happening on this Thursday, but it seems like Village won't be the only Resident Evil game there. And finally, several new Nintendo Switch games have been leaked with release dates, and there's some interesting titles that you guys should be paying attention to, so we're going to talk about them. What's going on guys, I'm RGT85, I took a couple days off, but now I'm back, so if you're glad to see me back, be sure to like the video, and if you're new, hit that subscribe button, but without any further ado, let's talk about what's going on in the world of video games. So the Resident Evil franchise is something I hold near and dear to my heart. I remember the first time I ever played Resident Evil, I rented, yes, rented, a PlayStation along with a copy of Resident Evil from like Kroger or something way back in the day. And I got to the yawn and it didn't come with the memory card and I died and all of my progress was lost. But in my mind, I beat the game because, hey, I got to the big snake boss and I didn't know what else Resident Evil entailed. Now, since then, there's been millions of Resident Evil games. I even like the crappy ones except for some of the really crappy ones but even games like resident evil 6 like i can have fun with it so i'm definitely looking forward to resident evil village getting a big showcase that is happening on this thursday now this will be happening on january 21st at 5 p.m eastern time and initially it was thought that this was just going to be resident evil village related but now it seems like there's going to be more stuff in this beyond just resident evil village and the big busty wench that everyone is now simping over like y'all really Realize, like there's like women with like boobs in real life too it doesn't, doesn't have to be just video game characters but if that's what you like you know what that's what you like so according to PlayStation's official blog they said the following we have a few more surprises in store but you'll simply have to wait and see what those are be sure to make yourself a hot drink wrap yourself up in a cozy blanket and tune in on Thursday January 21st at 5 p.m. Eastern time to catch all the latest live on the PlayStation Twitch and YouTube channels now, the Resident Evil page themselves have been tweeting out a lot of very interesting things, mostly related to like Resident Evil 4 and classic Resident Evil games. So a lot of people think that there's going to be some sort of classic Resident Evil stuff at this event. Now, what that could possibly entail, I'm not really sure of. Obviously, a game like Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3 has already been remade. We saw that in the RE engine, fantastic versions of the game. Resident Evil 1 technically had a remake on the GameCube that of course got an HD version of the game. So I'm not quite sure if it's going to be anything like that old. Maybe it will be something with Resident Evil 4, though, because that has been heavily rumored to be getting a full-on remake in the style of games like Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3. Of course, there's the possibility of Resident Evil Revelations 3, which has been heavily rumored as being developed with the Nintendo Switch specifically in mind. But I think that's sort of an outlier in this, because if PlayStation is hosting this event, PlayStation obviously has the marketing rights to Resident Evil Village and subsequent things around that you know much like microsoft had uh cyberpunk 2077 as their exclusive marketing game i think capcom and playstation had a much better deal in place of course there could be another offshoot resident evil game the resident evil franchise has been known to try different things such as first person shooters not necessarily in the style of the game like resident evil 7 or resident evil village but in games like resident evil dead aim and things like that so who really knows what else is going to be in this resident evil village presentation but i definitely think that everything that's going to be in this is going to be a multi-platform thing or a PlayStation exclusive because of the fact that this is a PlayStation regulated event they're hosting it on their page I don't think they would be promoting Resident Evil Revelations 3 if this is going to be designed with a Nintendo Switch in mind because of the fact that, well, why would PlayStation promote something that's coming to a Nintendo system and potentially only a Nintendo system? But like I said, as a Resident Evil fan, I definitely have my eye on this. I will be watching this event with bated breath because I love Resident Evil stuff, man. And I definitely think Resident Evil Village looks awesome or Resident Evil 8. There's a lot of people that don't seem to understand that the village is stylized to be Resident Evil 8, but definitely very exciting stuff if you are a Resident Evil fan. Capcom has been on an absolute roll lately with a lot of games, so I'm definitely looking forward to this presentation. And finally, over the past 48 hours or so, there's been a lot of discoveries about new Nintendo Switch games leaking. Now, some of these are official announcements, some of these are leaked release dates, and some of these are games that are just completely leaked. And I think there's some very interesting things to take away from this. The first game we're going to talk about is something that was just announced this morning from THQ Nordic, and that is Kingdom of Amalar Re-Reckoning. Now, this game will be coming out on the Nintendo Switch on March 16th. Now, this is a remaster of Kingdom of Amalar Reckoning, which 
which released in 2012 and I, I've never played this game. It seems like a lot of people are sort of comparing this game to a Skyrim style game and looking at the trailer for the game, I think it looks pretty cool. Like I like Skyrim style games, you know, I like Dragon's Dogma, I thought that was a lot of fun and there's definitely a lot of Skyrim-esque elements in that. So another sort of open world game in this style where you just create your character, you go out there and you do different things, I think is definitely a very welcome addition to the Nintendo Switch. THQ Nordic, of course, has been putting out a lot of things on the Nintendo Switch. Some of them of varying degrees of quality, like SpongeBob just ran like absolute ass on the Nintendo Switch and everyone told me, oh, SpongeBob, it's such a good game. And really, I mean, it was okay. It was okay. Even if it ran great, I think it would be okay. But don't get mad at me because I'm not a SpongeBob fan. I'm an old man and I didn't watch SpongeBob. But yes, Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning is coming out on the Nintendo Switch on March 16th. So less than two months away. And this is definitely something I have on my radar. Hopefully it's a budget title. I'm sure it will be as most THQ Nordic games are. Maybe we can get Destroy All Humans on the Switch next. The next game is a stealth game that actually leaked onto Nintendo of America's official website and then was taken down now this is an older game but it's actually a game i really enjoyed i own it on the playstation 4 and i think this will be a good fit for the nintendo switch and that is a game called republic now republic is essentially a stealth game in which you use different cameras to sort of move around in different areas and try to solve different puzzles and basically make it out of this area alive and it's a really fun game this game was actually leaked like i said on nintendo of america's official eShop page it had a listing of february 25th as the release date and a $9.99 price point as well until the page was taken down. I guess somebody said, hey, this, this game hasn't been announced yet. Please don't put this up. What are you doing, Nintendo of America? Get your shit together. But now they have taken the page down. But it was up for several hours. Tons of people saw it. It was heavily reported as well. And like I said, this is a game I own actually physically on the PlayStation 4. And it's definitely sort of a hidden gem game. It almost reminds me of a game sort of like Shadow Complex, not necessarily in gameplay style, but just in sort of that budget double a game that's actually really well done and actually a lot of fun so republic looks to be coming to the nintendo switch on february 25th nine dollars and 99 cents and i'm definitely going to buy this game again it's been a long time since i've played it and i definitely want to experience it on the nintendo switch and if you're a fan of stealth games i think you're really going to enjoy this game the next game is Apex Legends. Now, this, of course, was announced for the Nintendo Switch last summer. It is a free-to-play first-person shooter game. It was supposed to come out in the fall of 2020, and then it never did. It was delayed. But now it seems like Apex Legends is coming to the Nintendo Switch very, very soon, as in February 2nd. Now, February 2nd is also when Apex Legends Series 8 launches on the PlayStation and Xbox and, of course, PC games. And it looks like the Nintendo Switch version of this game will be launching to coincide with that. Now, that is coming to us from the Japanese YouTube channel for Apex Legends. It actually had the release date for the Nintendo Switch version of the game listed as February 2nd alongside of Season 8, which was then taken down as well. Like, what's up with these companies? Like, do they not realize that you're not supposed to announce things at certain times? Like, it's, it's not a good look. Like, Nintendo seems to do this. Now EA is doing it with their official Apex Legends uh, channel, their Japanese channel. But I'm actually looking forward to this game simply to see how this game performs on the Nintendo switch it's not the most beautiful looking game but it's definitely a pretty impressive game when it comes to the visuals and of course the frame rate of the game so i'm very curious to see how the nintendo switch version of apex legends turns out like i said it is a free to play game i played it a bit on my xbox one it was all right maybe if i had friends to play it with i would have enjoyed it a little bit more but it seems like the wait for apex legends on the switch is quickly coming to a close as this game looks to be coming out on february 2nd and let me just give you guys a side note here february is shaping up to be an insane month for the Nintendo Switch. When I do my February games video for the Nintendo Switch within the next few days, there are so many games I need to buy in the month of February. It's absolutely ridiculous. Make sure you guys be on the lookout for that video. And the final leak is another EA game. Now, this is a game that has been rumored. Jeff Grubb over at Venture Beat, shout outs to Jeff and his long flowing hair, actually said that this was a game that he had heard was potentially coming to the Nintendo Switch when EA announced that they had a bunch of new games for the Switch in development. And it seems like, according to Gamefly, this game will be coming out on March 19th. And that is Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Now, I've never played the Plants vs. Zombie games. Supposedly, they're very 
fun sort of online based shooters you can do lots of crazy stuff in them you know this game doesn't really hit too hard at home with me i'm not super interested in it but one thing i am interested in is the fact that this game actually uses ea's frostbite engine now if you're a nintendo switch owner you would know that the frostbite engine has never been used on the nintendo switch before that's the reason you get these crappy fifa games that are recycled every year that have literally no improvements beyond rosters because the frostbite engine was going to be too difficult to put on the nintendo switch but now all of a sudden that the nintendo switch is like a crazy selling system ea is like oh hey we, we figured out frostbite on the system so i think this is very interesting simply for the fact that frostbite engine is now coming to the nintendo switch now like i said this information has come to us from gamefly gamefly actually put up a listing for this game of march 19th yes gamefly is still around if you want to rent games like i think it's a pretty decent service like i don't want to buy every single game in the world so if you could rent stuff like why not do that but gamefly listed this game as a march 19th release date so another early game in spring for the nintendo switch and like i said very interested to see how the frostbite engine performs on the nintendo switch now that we have things like the frostbite engine from ea on the switch the re engine from capcom on the nintendo switch it's definitely a very interesting time to be a switch owner i'm very curious to see how games like apex legends and plants vs zombies end up being in terms of quality on the nintendo switch but definitely some exciting announcements and the fact that these are just sort of popping up out of nowhere really shows that i think 2021 is going to be a crazy year for the nintendo switch and for video games in general so do you have interest in any of these games seriously guys don't sleep on republic it is a super underrated game a definite sort of hidden gem on the playstation 4 and i really enjoyed that game Alrighty, so that is going to do it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it be sure to let me know what you think of everything in the comment section down below are you excited for the resident evil event because i mean i am i, I love resident evil i love seeing new resident evil stuff like i said capcom has been on a roll so i think it's going to be very exciting and do any of these leaked nintendo switch games either leaked in terms of release date or in terms of the game actually being a thing interest you if so let me know in the comments down below and as always guys hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to check out other videos on the channel i'm actually about to order a chopped cheese for the first time in my life you know i've lived in the northeast you know off and on for quite a while but i've never had a chopped cheese before and evidently there's a sub shop that's pretty close to me that makes a gorgeous and very tasteful chopped cheese so i will let you guys know tomorrow how i enjoyed my chopped cheese i kind of just like saying chopped cheese if you don't know what chopped cheese is it's like a bodega meal that they serve in new york city and different boroughs and stuff like that so i'm looking forward to it give me some chopped cheese and as always i'll catch you guys on the next video later